Now, National Chairman of the NDC, Johnson Asedunketia, says despite opposition to the appointment of Dr. Kesola to force him as minority leader, the party is united. Some 72 NDC MPs have filed petitions with the Council of Elders and the Speaker of Parliament demanding they reject the new appointees, saying the party rules governing such appointment were not followed. But addressing some members of the party in London, Johnson Asedunketia says there is overwhelming support for the decision. Um, somebody is asking about how fragmented the NDC is following the reshuffle. NDC is not fragmented at all. It is still a very united party. The truth about uh, every decision is that uh, every change comes along with new gainers and new losers. So you definitely will have some reaction. But um, the change has been welcomed by a majority of NDC membership across uh, the country. And I guess even here, um, uh, I was greeted with <laughs> reshuffle, reshuffle, reshuffle. So uh, it has brought some new excitement on the front of NDC. So NDC is not divi divided at all. Um, and the reports about 70 MPs uh, signing, uh, you know, a resolution and, and, and all that, they are not accurate at all. We heard about 70 MPs, then later we got uh, the number reduced to 40 MPs, and uh, eventually the press conference was attended by 25 MPs. And uh, a lot of them, even at that event, were calling to assure me that uh, they were there to witness what was happening and uh, not necessarily associating themselves with uh, the move. And as I was leaving Accra, there were a couple of MPs who had called into media houses to dissociate themselves from the move, even though their names were in the list. And so... That is that about it. Uh, NDC is not fragmented at all. Um, I've already explained the motivation for the move, even though we are not bound to explain anything. Um, it is not a normal practice for uh, leaders to explain the reasons for their reshuffle. But uh, NDC being democratic, and then personally, I always want to, you know, account for decisions that I take. So when I take any decision, I try as much as possible to let everybody understand why those decisions have been taken. That is why I went to the extra length of uh, explaining the reasoning. The truth of the matter is that after every election, we set up a new leadership of our parliamentary front because uh, some MPs lose out, others come on board, and so on. So we look at the, the talents that we have, and based upon that, we establish new leadership. That has been the practice all over. This leadership ought to have been reshuffled somewhere in uh, uh, around March, 2021, we actually proceeded doing that. We came to a point, and I came out to explain to Ghanaian that because of our court case, we didn't feel like proceeding with uh, that work. And I indicated clearly that it was work in progress, and that somewhere along the line, we will come out to indicate to Ghanaians who our next leadership will be. And so I'm surprised that people were surprised about the move because uh, if you check my press briefings, somewhere in March 2021, you will see a video I made. I spoke at Joy FM and at City FM, and I indicated 